Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new Love Gasm collection from Charlotte Tilbury. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado, guys, here is the video. Charlotte came out with two lip glosses and a face palette and also a new beauty light wand in pink gasm. I actually really like the pillow talk light wand in medium that she brought out either last year or the year before. So I was excited to try to try another beauty light wand that would work for my skin tone. So I'm going to be testing out the new shade today. The new shade is Pink Gasm Sunset and I also picked up the Pink Gasm Jewel Lips Lip Gloss and I actually got the Pillow Talks Jewel Lips Lip Gloss uh, about three years ago now and I absolutely loved it. It was just a very plumping, like plastic looking lip gloss that I really, really liked at the time. It was like my favorite thing. So I'm excited to try these. She says, Summer of Love Gasm Collection. Get ready for the summer of lovegasm, fall in love with dreamy eyes, love glazed lips and sunset blush cheeks with my summer of lovegasm collection featuring iconic and new glowgasm and pinkgasm makeup secrets. Discover my sellout sen sensation beauty light wand in pinkgasm and new pinkgasm sunset shade for a deeper dulled up kiss of colour plus new jewel lips in pinkgasm and pinkgasm sunset and darlings it's back the Glowgasm face palette and it did look richer and um, it's a face palette that she did last year or the year before that was just not really for many skin tones and she does seem to have taken that on board and done a richer deeper one but it's still not rich or deep enough for me to actually want to part with my cash so I didn't get it it just felt like the bronzer wasn't going to be visible on me so it just felt like a complete waste of time especially because I already have quite a lot of highlights and blushes from Charlotte Tilbury so unless the whole thing was going to be useful it just didn't feel like I needed to get it but I'm very excited to try the Beauty Light wand I'm very excited to try the Jewel Lips lip gloss. So I'm going to start with the Beauty Light wand. It says Beauty Light wand, new Pink Gasm Sunset, new Radiant Rose Pink Easy Liquid Highlighter Blush for a dreamy deeper kiss of colour inspired by the sellout Pink Gasm. 12 mils. The new one is consistent with her other sizing but it just doesn't feel like the blushes last as long as the beauty light one so that's just something to note i'm excited to try it though uh 12 mils 0.4 fluid ounces 30 pounds and 42 us dollars i also got the pink gasm jewel lips it says it is a hydrating plump effect lip gloss in a shimmering rose pink for gla love glazed lips with a dazzling diamond finish this is 22 pounds and 32 us dollars four mils and 0.13 fluid ounces i'm just going to get into it i'm going to show you guys the packaging show you some swatches then i'm going to get into a demo
So the lip gloss, actually, I prefer the old packaging. It just was a bit more fun and funky. And it also, the last one felt a bit more opaque than this one does. This one feels a bit more sheer. Definitely different shades. I probably should have picked the lighter one because I really like the lighter one. But I guess it's good to have different things considering I don't really go wear the light one anymore. It's very rich. It's much more punchy and red than I thought it was going to be but it looks nice it looks like a juicy raspberry they both felt equally sticky um and but they both had about the same shine even though this one's a bit more sheer than the um original one the packaging was really nice it's grown up I do prefer the glitziness of the last one but this one is a bit more subdued a bit more sophisticated um in terms of the beauty light wand that actually is really nice I really like it. it's much richer than I thought it was going to be but I think it's a really good one it will really work for all skin tones especially all deeper richer skin tones I think it's going to be a really nice one for like the richest deeper skin tones it's a very intense coppery highlight so first I'm going to start with all the cheeks as always, you're supposed to dot it on your cheeks. I'm just going to dot it on here. Now, I don't really wear the Pillow Talk Medium as a blusher. I don't really wear it on my cheeks. I just wear it on my nose bridge. So maybe this could be the cheek one I never had. I'm not seeing much from it. I'm going to put some on the other side. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the lip gloss on because I can't really concentrate, my lips are really dry. Really nice. Definitely adds a lot of dimension to my lips and definitely adds a lot of colour and hydration. It just instantly looks very juicy uh, and summery as well which is nice. The flat paddle brush applicator makes it really easy to apply and kind of glide on. I think it does just look like quite a natural lip, which I do like. So I'm going to put a bit more of the highlighter on this side, see if it shows up a bit. I'm going to put some bronzer and some blusher on and then I'll be back to see if that changed anything. I'm going to quickly line my lips just to see if that makes any difference. So guys, that is it. That's my finished look. I have to say, neither are my favourite things from Charlotte Tilbury. Usually I try something Charlotte Tilbury and my whole face has changed for the better. And I'm like, wow, how am I going to survive without these things in my life? I'm not really feeling that with e either of these things. I actually think this Beauty Light Wand would actually be better on richer, deeper skin tones than mine. Because I just don't feel like I'm seeing it on my skin tone. And I think maybe it's too close to my actual skin tone to make a difference. Um, I'm going to show it to you guys and have a look at it in some different lights. So guys, this is the highlight on. It's just not highlighting. I just don't see it. Like, is that it? I can't tell. Is that it? Uh, the lip gloss is cute. It's nice. I'm just not sure it's the one. I'll show you in a different light. I guess I see it a little bit there. I just don't think it's that, that good. But maybe it's not supposed to be for me. 
as I can see. I'm not really seeing it. Um, all I'm seeing is a lot of blush that I put on. The lip gloss is nice. It's nice and juicy and rich. Um, it's something I probably will just grab when it's in my bag. It's something I will grab for in the middle of the day when I want my lips to look a bit more alive again and hydrated. I think it's a nice lip gloss. It does feel quite heavy on, I have to say. It does feel like I've definitely got something on my lips. And I like to not feel like I've got anything on my lips. Even though it doesn't feel super sticky, it does have a slight tackiness to it. So not my favourite Charlotte Tilbury lip product. I do think I prefer my Lisa Aldridge's. They're just much more like silky and lightweight. But I do like to put lip tints on and they're not always the most hydrating thing. So, so I think this would actually be really nice for in the middle of the day when I want to just like revive my lips and add a bit of colour um, but also add some hydration. So I do think it's something I will use and I'm glad I've got it. £22 isn't that bad at all. The actual Beauty Light wand is nice. I just don't think it's as good as my original Pillow Talk Medium. That one to me is just still the goat. So that's the one I think I will repurchase. But obviously I will keep using this. I'll try it in different, different makeup looks and also try it with different hairstyles. A lot of the time, the things I get from Charlotte Tilbury are slow growers. Out of nowhere, it's become your favourite thing. So maybe one of these two will become my favourite thing. But right now, I'm not feeling like either of them are. That is the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Love Gasm Collection. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Will you be buying anything? Will you be trying anything? Do you like the look of these? Let me know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.